Today, I'm taking over the Baltimore Orioles for 10 straight seasons. And within those 10 seasons, we're going to be looking for a new dynasty out there in Baltimore. Technically, a dynasty is a team or individual that dominates their sport or league for an extended period of time. The last legitimate dynasty that I remember is the San Francisco Giants. In the 2010s, the Giants won 2010, 2012, and 2014 World Series. And that's what we're going to be looking to do today for Baltimore. And they got a team that could definitely do it. Right now, I'm using the depth chart, which again, I rarely ever do. But for this, it's going to be very important. This perfectly shows what the team progression in this game is going to be like. Now, this would be if I'm not taking it over. Obviously, I'm taking it over, so we're going to be a lot better than what the heck this is showing. But by 2024, Gunnar Henderson is expected to be an 85 overall, and Adley Rutschman is expected to be a 90. Colton Cowser is going to be making a lot of good progress, as well as Jordan Westberg. For 2025, it seems like Jackson Holiday is finally going to make his appearance. And then for 2026, the team is still a little rough, but overall, it's finally solidifying. Again, obviously, it's going to be a lot better for us, but that's basically the blueprint. The guys that I'm so excited to use, those, of course, Adley Rutschman and Gunnar Henderson, Bro, these dudes are going to be so great for us. I'm also very excited for people like Jackson Holiday to finally get his chance. And besides that, to be honest, we got work to do. Let's see how the boys do for year one. I will see you guys right back here at the draft day. And let's hope that we can do good. Here we go. First year player draft. Let's go and get into this thing. For the drafts right now. Oh my God. We have a guy that's be ranked of 51, but we have him first overall. Screw it. I'm the draft queue. Why not? After that, we're going to the guys that I drafted. Robert, definitely not going to be here though. Jeff Coggin, again, definitely not going to be here. Would be so nice if he was but there's no shot and besides that we just gotta pray that nobody takes our guys and they fall heavily down to like 17th let's see what that happens here pirates who are you gonna be taken from me who the heck is getting taken from the board that doesn't look like one of our guys so very nice who they got never mind that is our guy i'm freaking blind robert no it's weird seeing them in the actual uniforms because they really do look a little different eloy one of our guys as well as a draft ring of 15th but the nationals took him second overall cool and there goes brandon too another guy that was gonna be on our list for actually hopefully falling, but no. And the only guy that we have left is Clay Wood. Are you kidding me? Oh man, that's terrible, bro. Do I really want to go with Clay? I mean, 21 years old. For us, he is 11, so we're definitely getting him at a good spot. The dude's healthy, has a good interest on signing with us. The dude looks pretty decent for the future. You know what, Clay? Let's just go with it. I got one more guy that I want to get if he's still going to be here, and it doesn't really look like he's here. Gosh dang it. We're just going to go with Dwayne right here because I'm going to be able to move him over to second base. I just hope my boy is not a 47 over. Overall. I'm fine with him being like an 80 something potential if he could just be like a 60 something overall. So we need to get lucky right here. Dwayne, there we go. Again, not a great pick, but it is what it is. That's the best we could do. Next, I'm going Robbie because again, the exact same thing. We got a chance to do very, very well with them. So I'm taking that chance. Let's go, Robbie. Come on in. Last but not least for this, I'm going with the first baseman, John Bullock. Guy looks like an absolute house. 18, 6 foot 2, 222. God. All right, get him. There we go. After that, we're done. I mean, again, I love the new draft system. I really do, but it does fall apart towards the end. You got the chance to get some great guys, but I'd rather just try to fix this team for the future. Oh my gosh, guys, what are we doing? Nationals, why? Erasmo Ramirez and Victor Robles going to the Mets for JV. The Nats are in no position to get Justin Verlander. I know he's pissed. All right, the trade line right now, the Orioles are 51 to 54. Again, not as bad as we were expecting. I shouldn't say we, but as like the general population would expect. I still think we got a great team. I really do believe heavily in the Orioles, which does suck because I'm a Rays fan, so I don't like that the Orioles are getting better, but I know baseball, and they're going to be a very, very good team in the future, and you can't stop it, so I might as well be a fan of it. The first thing I feel like we got to do, though, at least for this game, Austin Hayes never does good for me. This guy's a double machine in real life. I do like him in real life. He's not terrible, but for this game, I'm sorry. The guy's a bum. He's just not going to work. We might just keep him just to eat a few years for us and hopefully get better, but besides that, it's not really going to do much. The first thing I'm doing, I'm checking the block, and I see my dude, Jose Suarez, is out here. Dude's doing great for the Angels. I really don't know why they want to get rid of him so bad, but I'll go ahead and take him. Try to go ahead and flip Kyle Gibson, and wow, we can. All right, and Bruce Zimmerman. Okay, can't do that just yet. Spencer Watkins, there we are. Beautiful, guys. Clear up a little bit of salary. I love it. The next thing that I'm going out and doing is I'm going to go to the Cubs, and I'm getting Nick Madrigal. The guy is underrated. Had a down year last year. This year, off to a very, very good start, but he's not playing. I feel like we could actually get this dude playing and hopefully be very, very good for us. The guy's potential is there. So Nick Madrigal, I am not going to have him hitting second. That is insane but yeah the potential's there so i'm excited for it after that i'm really just gonna go for one guy out of the bullpen and then from there we're chilling and the reason why we're going for the pen the orioles actually have a pretty good bullpen which is very weird because for the last couple of years they haven't but i'm selling high on my dude darwinson he's posting up a 2.63 this year very very good but i know this game and i know coach 
That 14 walks per nine is going to kill him. So I got to get rid of him right now and get somebody else that's going to be good for us for a long, long time. There we go, Jordan Holloway. You guys can already see a gigantic difference. The only thing that Jordan really needs is control. So I'm getting him. There we are. Beautiful. That is something that we could teach pretty easily. Next, Adley Rutschman. I'm getting this dude locked up for 10. We'll only want a max of 16.9 million a year for 10 years. Come on. I know it's a little bit of a risk, but Adley's doing this already. So it's really not. So we got to go ahead and get this guy signed up. I'm going to go 15 just to be annoying. Will my boy end up signing it though? That's the big question. And he will. Oh my gosh. 15 mil a year for Adley Rutschman. Not bad at all. Next up, Cedric Mullins. Got to go ahead and get him as well. I'm hoping that he can be a big piece for this. Get him on 10 a year. That is close, but not it. 772. Still nothing. Okay, 773. There we are. After that, I think we're good. I would do Gunner, but we're just going to wait a little bit longer. He's still got three years of renewable. All right, we're good. And now we just got to try to get Dwayne because he's the only guy holding out on us. He's got 51% interest. I can't even look. Please just sign, dude. Just sign. And he did. Oh my God. Look at this little stumpy dude. Oh my gosh. I don't want to set the expectations like ridiculous, but my boy's 5'7 and plays second base. I'm hoping for that Jose Altuve. I'm not going to lie. And God, he's a 66. Never mind. We did hit on Clay Wood and we hit on Frank. I am down for that because we need pitching. Again, Dwayne was the shot in the dark, but the guys that we actually wanted, we hit pretty decent on. Also, John, very solid hitting wise. I feel like a C for him is definitely going to go up. But yo, Clay Wood, I need this guy to work on the walks. Besides that, looking pretty solid. Honestly, not bad for seven. Two guys that are pretty decent. Everybody else, it is what it is, honestly. Going into the end of the year, see how good this team's doing, even though we're falling apart in the second half. Just like the real Orioles, my God. Let's get to the offseason. Let's make 2024 even better. Year one, we finish off 76 and 86. Again, a bit of a step back. Not exactly how I wanted to start it, but we still got nine more years at the end of this. And again, I want to have at least six winning seasons during this entire video, and I have to win three World Series. That's the challenge. Let's see if I could do it. I need you guys to believe in me. Let's get it going. Also, one thing I do love is you can offer your coaches nine-year contracts so i'm just gonna get guys that i really like and just sign them long term why not the great thing is nobody can stop me so i'm just gonna go ahead and do it we're also gonna try to get dave roberts on a nine-year deal i know that davey gets a lot of crap but dave roberts is a good manager if you like it or not the dude would be electric out here in baltimore so screw it we're gonna go with him too after that free agency here we go the biggest thing for me this offseason is gonna be pitching because again we have so much money but our pitchers not exactly the best i would say i don't think anybody necessarily thinks our pitches are all that great so imagine if we could do it imagine we have the money we have the freaking cash do i try it guys do i try it shohei otani on the 10-year contract we could backload it too and make it so expensive when he's almost 40 or we could front load it if we think that we're going to be doing really really good towards the end of this entire 10 years to be real i'm backloading it so let's see what happens if he signs with us i'm gonna freak out after that honestly there's really nothing else everything else seems to be covered i could go with ian hap to be honest i really could i do love the guy way more than austin hayes so you know what? I convinced myself. Let's go ahead and go with them. 10 million a year, 70 over seven years. And that is it. We really don't need anything else, but Shohei, please. Oh my God, we got Dave too. Oh my God, we got him. Let's go. Shohei Otani, dude. The famous Baltimore Orioles, Shohei Otani. What is that? I know a lot of people might think like, dog, that's a little cheap to do. But dude, Shohei Otani, one, is one of the greatest players of all time. I'm sorry, he is. But the Orioles, they got money. They've been talking about trying to expand the budget for two years. They just haven't found the player they want. I think we found the player that we want. So there we are. Shohei Otani is now officially an Oriole. I'd say year one was a fat success. Year two in this thing. Let's go and get it going. Back right before the trade line. We're 61 of 46 at the... Never mind. We're a game and a half back from the top of the AL East already. And no shot we're going to be able to get the guy that I've been wanting. Zach Veen. There we go. 22 years old right now. Not doing great. But again, 22 needs another year in AAA. I cannot believe the Rockies let us get Zach Veen for nine not that great of a package. Put him back down to AAA. Should be good to go by next year. Now, the guy that I'm going to be using over at right field is going to be Colton. Finally, bringing him Colton Cowser. Let's go ahead and move him over there. And now we are looking and feeling so much better. Also, how's the rotation doing, by the way? Shohei Otani, of course, killing it. Grayson, 5 ERA. Still not good. Jose, 4.4. That's also not great. Dean, 4.4. Not great. And then John Means, of course, killing it down there. I got to sign him back, too. Oh my gosh. All right, let's get John. Means, I need you to stay with me, bro. Five 
years. There we go. All right, good. Besides that, Dean Kramer, get him out. I really don't like him. Oh, God, I'm taking a chance. Tariq for the Tigers. Oh, man. Dean, Keegan Akin, and Jordan. There is a very good chance that this blows up directly in my face. But he's got potential. That's the only reason why I'm doing it. So, Tariq, there we go. Oh, man. After that, that's basically all I want to do for year two. Let's see how the heck we do. Because, again, we're looking very, very solid this year. That Shohei Otani effect is disgusting. Let's take a look at our draft picks real quick this year. What do we got? And, oh, my God. I didn't show you guys the draft picks because I didn't think we were going to get anybody that great. I saw Rob. We had, like, 45% scouting progress on him. So, I was like, yeah, whatever. I'll just take him. He looks great. And he is. Right there. That's generational. Guys, tell me in the comments. I can remake Rob right here. Let me know if you guys want to see a career similar Rob Escobar. I mean, you're going to get a little taste so far in this video. But still, let me know if you guys want to see a video on that. Hit, like, I don't know, 1,500 likes or tell me in the comments right now. That is the best way to tell me. And oh my gosh, that is insane. All right, good. Let's get to the end of this year and let's see how the heck we finish out. Coming near to the end of the year, we finish off 92 and 70, taking on the Blue Jays. The start of the dynasty is looking very, very good. Awards real quick. Shohei Otani, Hank Aaron Ward also going to Shohei Otani, and the MVP, of course. Dude, oh my God. 305, 54 home runs and 145 RBIs for Shohei and 22 and 5 with a 2.72 and 242 strikeouts. Greatest of all time. I don't care. I love Mike Trout. I love a lot of these guys. Greatest of all time. They can't do that as much as I like them. This year, Cedric Mullins, I was hoping for a little bit more. He's developing good, but I was hoping for more. Nick Madrigal, not terrible. Again, Shohei, freaking bow down to you, God. Ian Happ, so good. Adley Rutschman, holy crap. Gunner, oh, baby. After that, still great. Ramon Urias, let's go. Colton, Ooh, all right. Looks like Zach Green's going to be starting for this wild card. Wow. That's all right, though. Shohei Otani going up against Alec Manoa. This is a game and a half, and we won that two to one. What a fight. Tariq versus Kevin Gosman won that as well. On to the Guardians. I just want to point out, though, the Orioles in the divisional series in the playoffs. 2024, by the way. Not like 2026, 2027. No, 2024. Let's go. Otani, Shane Bieber. Lost that by one. Oh, man. Okay. Tariq versus Tristan McKenzie. Again, by one. Hate to see that. Jose Suarez versus Cal. Won that. Five to two. Grayson, this is big for you. Won that as well. Game five. Otani versus Shane Bieber again. Won that 5-0. Oh my God. Up against the Astros now. Bro, I'm going to have to change. The Team RGS hoodie, available right now, is a little too warm for this. Just because it's so high quality. But still, it's a little too warm for me screaming like this. Tariq versus Christian Javier for game one. Lost that by one. Felix, I need more out of you, bro. Jose Suarez versus Fromber. Lost that again by one. That just seems to be how we do it around here. Otani versus Hunter Brown. Oh, no. All right, guys. This, that, mm, that killed it. That killed it right there. Grayson won that. Tariq won that. Jose won that. I think Otani's got to go. You pitch Otani in the biggest game right here. If he feels good, you got to go. And he feels fine. We're going. He's going to be DH in here, too. So here we go. Seti. Air, that's great. Nick Madrigal, two-run bomb for Nick. Madrigal, the guy's 20-something power each. Guy hits a bomb. Shohei Otani, solo bomb. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This team is something different. Come on, boys. Come on. Adley, please. Walk. Base is loaded. Zach Veen. Oh, strikeout. Okay, it's fine. Otani, let's just go. Keep it going, boys. Nothing too crazy as that's three. Okay. Need a little bit more, Shohei. Yo, who the heck is Hensley and why is he a god? Facing Jordan. I mean, I really don't think anybody else should be facing Jordan Alvarez besides Shohei Otani just because how good he is. And they made him sack bunt. What? Okay. Tucker. We run bomb. Yikes. Shohei Otani. Oh, no. Not like this, baby. Not like this. We got to come back. He's still going to DH for us. So, come on. There we go. Cedric Mullins, double. Nick Madrigal, struck out. Okay. Shohei Otani, lead it off. Let's go, my boy. Struck out. Okay. Guys, I don't need to... Oh, my God. Christian Walker. All right. Well, not exactly what I was hoping for. We, uh, we fell apart pretty bad. We could still do it, but we have to score four runs right here at the bottom of the order, and they're doing nothing, and that is it. Wow. Christian Walker, congratulations. Shohei Otani, you messed that one up, my boy. I'm not going to lie. You did mess that one up. Astros probably going to win it, right? No, the Dodgers won. All right, cool. I'm just a jinx. Let's go. Still an absolutely unbelievable year, and we still got $95 million to spend. Oh, my goodness. I think we go one more guy out of the pen. That's going to be AJ Minter, $12 million. 
million a year? Maybe not. Andrew Chafin, how about the Walmart version? That would be a lot better. Nine million a year just to lock down that pen. I'm fine with it. I would love to go with another pitching upgrade too for the rotation, but we really don't need it. And let's just go ahead and keep going. Year two though, we almost made it to the World Series. So that is a very, very good sign. 2025 this year coming to fifth in rank, 11th in contact, 25th in power. They are doubting our power numbers. Third in pitching though, I do agree. Let's go. Also, unfortunately, we were not able to get Andrew Chafin. I do have an alternative though. This dude, DL Hall has been waiting for his chance. He sucked every time, but honestly, that's for him starting games. What if we just put him in as a reliever? Let's see what happens there. Also, we're going to be starting Rob Escobar in AAA just because he deserves it. And if he does good, we're moving him over to right field and he is going to be our new right fielder. That would unfortunately mean though that we have to trade somebody. It could still work, but it would suck having to trade somebody because I really do like this group. Let's see how the heck we do this here and let's hope for the absolute best of the Orioles in 2025. Here we are. Trade line right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm not happy. 55 and 53. That's the best that this team can get me after almost making it to the World Series last year. Nothing changed and we only got better, which makes me so annoyed. In reality, the guys just aren't doing as good. Another thing that is very, very annoying for me. Cedric Mullins, a 232. The guy's having an absolutely terrible year. Also, Colton Cowser. I was hoping for better things from him this year, but no. So I do have an idea. Brian Reynolds right now is on the trade block from the Marlins. The guy's playing for a contract. I think we bring him over here. We still got money to spend and I think Brian Reynolds would be perfect. We're just gonna have to get rid of Colton Cowser, which again, I really don't want to do. Also, we got to make room for Rob Escobar because the guy's an 83 overall now as he's 18 years old. So he deserves a spot. Brian Reynolds, let's go ahead and get him. There we go. Next up, Nick Madrigal doing amazing. Okay, never mind. I was going to go ahead and get rid of him, but he's supposed to have a 3.5 for me. Ramon Urias, though, not as good in a 1.7. Uh, not great. I'm thinking that we move Gunner over to third base, have Jackson take over, and then just try to get somebody good from Ramon. I'm leaning towards a pitcher because, my God, do the rest of the pitchers suck. I'm going to do my absolute best to try to find a nice trio of relievers. Kind of like what's down with the Dodgers right now. And there we go. Let's hope this is going to be good enough. JP and Alex Vestia for Ramon Urias. DL Hall and Taryn. I really don't like doing it, but things have got to be shaken up if we're doing this bad. And now we're first overall. There we go. Now we go ahead and move Gunnar Henderson over to third base. He immediately gets better, by the way. We got Jackson Holly now playing shortstop. Now we got two more roster spots. Those roster spots are going to Rob and my boy Seth Johnson down here. Also, I'm making an announcement now. I'm giving Grayson Rodriguez two more years. If the guy is not good in two years, I'm getting rid of this guy for somebody way better. Let's see what happens at the end of this year. Let's see if we can turn this thing around. Come on. And I'd say those changes work pretty good. 91 and 71, and we take our division. Awards real quick again, Shohei Otani for the third straight year. Thank God for Shohei Otani, though, for real. Everybody else, though, Joseph Ortiz, not great. Our boy Nick Madrigal must be injured. Is he? Let's take a look. And he is. Fractured foot. RIP. That sucks. Joseph, not great, but he just started playing, so it's really not that big of a deal. He was off the bench for the entire year. Jackson Holiday, not the best start either. Okay, a little bumpy. Brian Reynolds, very good. Shohei Otani, amazing. Adley, a little bit of a down year, I'm not gonna lie. Still the best catcher out there, but still a little bit of a down year. Gunnar Henderson, very, very good with the RBIs. I want to see him hit 30 home runs, though. Ian Happ, very solid. Rob, oh, baby, look at that already. And then Ryan, not bad at all. Let's see how we do and who the heck we face in the Texas Rangers. Let's get it going. Shohei Otani versus Andrew Heaney for game one. Lost to Andrew Heaney. How do we do that? Grayson versus Jacob DeGrom. Oh, God. Won that though. Grace Rodriguez, thank you for that. I hope that I lit a fire under that dude. Tariq, let's go. Won that as well. Then Jose, oh my God. Facing who next? Toronto. Let's get it going. Shohei Otani, come on, please. There we are. That's more Shohei. Grayson, there we are. Oh my gosh. Tariq, come on. Lost that. Shohei Otani again? Really? Doesn't matter. Jose Suarez was Ricky. And there we go. Orioles, we are back in the World Series. Almost made it there last year. Here this year. First the Marlins. Okay. Yeah. Coach. Uh, so many questions. Shohei Otani versus Sandy for game one. Won that. We bested him. Grayson Rodriguez versus Trevor Rogers for game two. Lost that. So close. Tariq versus Edward Cabrera. God, Shohei Otani versus Sandy again. There we are, won that. We took two games off of Sandy. You guys have to know how insane that is. Jose Suarez versus Devin. We're leading it. We're leading this thing. Come on, come on. Grayson, I've never needed you to do better in a game. And for this game, we're doing a little bit of craziness. I'll show you guys in a second. We got Seti out there on right. We got Gunner, of course, at third base. We got Rob out there at left. But if you notice, we got Ian Happ at second base. He could play second base, but it's a little bit weird to see him out there. Either way, Brian Reynolds with one guy on. Pop out, Shohei Otani, please. And a 164. Come on, Shohei. Jesus. But yeah, Ian Happ at second base is something that I really didn't exactly see coming. Guys, come on, get out of this, please. 
Sack fly, never mind. Two runs scored. All right, Ian Happ, fly out, not great. Cedric, solo bomb, that's better. Gunnar Henderson, single. Brian Reynolds, single again. Otani, two guys on. Strikeout, Rob, please. Double, there we go, Rob, there we go. Three, two, we gotta keep building. Grayson, just give me one more inning, please, no. Man, that would've been great, just one inning, please. JP, come on in, and runner got thrown out, thank goodness. And we got out of it, okay. Ian Happ, come on, single, there we are. Cedric, there we are. Gunnar Henderson, struck out. Reynolds, please, struck out. Otani, struck out. That's three Ks right there from Shohei Otani. I just gotta let you guys know. Two guys on though, Adley Rutschman. Three run ball, baby, there we go. Fire eyes and keep it going, and please, holy crap. Reynolds, let's go. Strike out, Otani, please, God, don't strike out again. Four Ks, four strikeouts for Shohei Otani. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's gotta be injured or something. He is not feeling it. All right, Fire Eisen, just try to go. I'll let you go for two batters. If you're doing good, I'll let you go for the last. Strike out, strike out, let's go. Come on, we gotta go in. I don't care if the pitcher's getting tired, Dave. I know that you like to take these guys out instantly. Let the guy do just a little bit of work, okay? Come on. Oto ready, we're in Lone Depot. I gotta do it. Slider outside, a la Shohei Otani. That almost got smacked. Hey, he's not gonna expect two though outside corner let's go jp let's go jp oh my god so close brian de la cruz all right you know what let's make our own history change up on the corner there we go one world series down two more to go let's go baby those changes were magical mid-season i'm so happy we did that also i'm so happy i didn't get rid of cedric mullins home run and rbi when we need him the most now i can relax just a little bit because we finally got our first world series three years into this thing by the way awards world series mvp rob escobar let's go and then brian Reynolds for the postseason mvp again two guys we brought in mid-season we still got six years to go though let's see if we can continue the success the one upgrade that we're making this year is actually going to be in the offense, which I'm not normally doing. But Luis is out here from the Marlins, ironically. I think we have to do it. This dude is a double, triple, and single machine. Also, in the past couple of years, he's been hitting a lot more home runs. Just to point it out, the guy has a 4.7 war and a 4.9 war. The guy barely plays in the infield, by the way. The guy plays second base, so it's very, very solid. It is a big deal for us, but he is just an overall better Nick Madrigal. Not to mention, Nick is going to be a free agent next year. It just works out too well, so that's what we're doing we're getting him and then we're gonna go ahead and throw it over to jonathan hernandez i love this dude so much it has been so good for me in the past we're gonna front load this thing and let's see how we do realistically i just need luis so come on luis come on baby come on there we go the first thing we gotta do this year is trade nick madrigal again i don't like doing it but we have to we're just a little bit over the budget so with nick it's gonna go ahead and fix it again the guy has done great for us but we just found somebody better so there we go gonna send him to the reds and that is it now we are ready to go also look at John, my boy. We're ready to go this year. Let's run this thing all the way back to the end of the year. See how we're doing. Back for the midseason. Right now, I'm going to be doing something very, very important. I'm getting Gunnar Henderson under contract. Obviously, it's going to be a big contract, but it's going to be worth it. Gunnar Henderson, 23.4 mil a year. And there we go. Got him. Next up, Tariq needs a contract. This is also going to be very expensive. Now we're done with the... Oh my God, Mike, my boy, going to the Rays. What? Why? But... Cool, I like it. <laughs> but again, we're done with all the contract extensions. We got these guys locked up for a long time, AKA meaning that we should be good for a long time, which I'm very excited about. I will see you guys at the end of this year. Let's hope that we can finally break 100 wins for these Orioles. Oh baby, there we go, 108 and 54. Taking on the winner of the wild card series, we got zero awards. Oh my God, guys, come on. Tristan McKenzie, really? So incredibly close. What do we got though? Jackson Holiday. all right, 86 overall now out of nowhere. I like that, Luis, holy crap, dude. Show Okay, amazing. 233 though. My guy is doing terrible contact wise. What happened? Gunner, there we go. 30 bombs, 106 RBIs. Adley, holy crap. These guys are hitting their stride now. Rob, by the way, so incredibly good. Ian Happ, let's go. And then Ryan, not bad. I really do love this team. This is exactly what we should be. Shohei, here we go for Sugar Shane. How you gonna do? Lost that. Shohei, what's happening with you, dude? Grace Rodriguez versus Javier Assad. Lost that one by one as well. Oh, Jesus. All right, Tariq. One of that. Shohei again. One of that. And then Grace Rodriguez versus Javier Assad. Let's go. Lost it by one. No. Like, I want to blame it on somebody else, but it really was just Jordan. Like, it really was. That's so annoying. Rays went to the World Series. So, hey, at least we went to the guys that went to the World Series. Still annoying, though. I hate the fact that if we won that first game with Shohei, we would have beat the Rays right there. That's so annoying. Let's go to 2027 and keep this thing going. Also, as we're still making money, I'm just going to go ahead and do this now. I am buying out Rob's arbitration because 
that dude's gonna be so good. Four years, 16 million, there we go. That is gonna be essential. Same with Jackson, three years, 11.3, there we are. And after that, we are good. Let's go ahead and get to the end of the year. Not a bad year for the guys. 114 wins, 48 losses. Two total wins off the MLB record. They realistically could have tied it. That is so insane. Awards, Tariq, let's go, Cy Young. I'm so happy I got him, to be honest. I'm happy I signed him, and I'm happy that he's gonna be making less money as the years go on. Also, Cy Young's all Orioles. Let's go. Luis had another career season, clocking in 34 home runs this year. Gunnar Henderson did amazing as well. Hey, yo, why is Shohei Otani not hitting? Bro, he had 41 bombs. You better be in the lineup. Are you kidding me? Zach Veen, I appreciate you, but get out of there, bro. So who the heck are we facing first? Texas once again. Let's get it going. Grayson Rodriguez overtook Shohei Otani? No shot. Oh my, Shohei! Minus fives and minus sevens. Oh no. And his fielding took a gigantic hit. All right. Not exactly what I'm liking to see while we're in the middle of our dynasty push. Grayson Rodriguez, let's go. One of that, Shohei Otani. Come on. <sighs> Just please, Tariq, there we go. Jose, there we are. Shohei Otani versus Christian Javier. God, bro, what is happening to him? Grace Rodriguez versus Fromber. Won that, Tariq versus Hunter Brown. Lost it by one, are you kidding me? Jose, come on. There we go, 2-2. Two -two. Shohei again. He is single-handedly losing us this postseason. Grayson, come on. Oh my gosh, what's happening to him? This ain't the right guy. Bro, this is not the right guy. He had a 9.4 this entire postseason. I don't get what's going wrong. Let's go back, get the next year, and let's hope that Shohei can do better. Also, John Means, I hate to do it, but the guy is going down severely, and we need the money. Let's go ahead and deal him to the Mets, and hopefully he can ruin a postseason push for them. Back at it again, 114 to 48. We're getting closer and closer to that dynasty. Realistically, I think we pretty much already got it. I mean, the past three seasons consecutively, we've been doing so incredibly good, but we still gotta win those two world series so come on awards brian reynolds for the hank aaron award beautiful and rob escobar mvp let's go baby let's see who we're facing the rays up first we got to continue a good push grace rodriguez for shane mcclanahan lost that by two Tariq up next versus luis patino won that 10 to 8 wow joey otani again for shane buys won that and then jose for shane mcclanahan lost that by one are you kidding me come on guys Grace Rodriguez versus javier won that beautiful job all right let's go again Tariq versus kyle harrison Lost that by two. Oh my God. Shohei versus Carmen. Oh my God. Jose versus Cole Win. Won that. Grayson versus Cole again. Wow. Two Coles in that team. Tariq versus Kyle again. Won that by one. Shohei Otani versus Carmine. Please, Shohei. Please, Shohei. God, do something good. <sighs> Guys, he's lost like six or seven consecutive postseason games. Jose versus Kumar Rocker. Game seven. Let's go. Won that by one. Back to the World Series. Take on the Braves. Tariq, let's go, baby. Versus Jared. Lost that by two. All right. Grayson versus Mike Soroka. Won that 7-1. Shohei Otani versus Max Freed. I have to trade Shohei Otani. I can't believe I'm saying those words. Tariq, Ian Anderson, let's go. Won that 2-2. Two -two. Jose Suarez, Spencer Strider. There we go. Grayson Rodriguez, we got to go in. I can't believe that that's actually a thing, though, that I might have to get rid of Shohei Otani. It's so insane, but let's please just hope for a good outing as Ozzy hits a triple because why wouldn't he and oh my god oh god all right three runs score at top of the first guys we need to explode here we need like 12 runs or something I need 12 runs out of our boy Grayson what was that 7-0 all right well awesome let's just end the game there's no coming back from this they've scored at least three in every single freaking thing in every single freaking inning and we're getting no hit we finished that game 11 to 1 oh man we got three hits that entire game all right Tariq on some short rest we gotta do it let's get it going come on boys come on guys I need some runs super early that's it I just need them early if we could score out the gate and it's no longer at the gate. It's the fourth inning. But if we could just score at all, guys, at all, I'd love to score. And two run bomb, Austin Riley, of course. Please, guys, double from Adley. Thank you. Ian Happ, walk, Zach Veen, walk, bases loaded, Jackson Holiday, strikeout, Brian Reynolds. Oh my God, how is this happening to us? Literally, how? 3 0, guys, please. They're not supposed to be that good. Finally, we score a run. Cody Whitley, as a 70 or right, gets out of that. Come on, versus the meat of the order. Luis, grounded out. Gunner. Fly out. Okay, Rob. Come on. It all leads to Shohei Otani sitting a 182. Bro, the curse of Shohei Otani. What's happening? Otani, please do something. Ground out. Adley, thank you for getting on base. Ian, double play. Wow. 
Wow. It's time to get rid of him. I can't believe it. I really can't. The only thing is that nobody's good enough to justify us trading Shohei Otani. But we need some help. I mean, oh my gosh, we need some help. Casey Mize should be a decent start. I cannot believe that we just trade him, though. New pitching staff this year. We got Hayden in here now. I'm guessing he's going to be very, very good for us. He's been electric with the Cubs, except for the past two years. Let's get this year going, see how the heck we do. In a year that we had to trade Shohei Otani, we finished 117 and 45. Breaking the LB record. Let's go. Awards, we got to see it. Come on. AJ Puck, delivery man of the year. Got Tariq with another Cy Young. We got Tommy Wado with an AL rookie of the year. That's one of our pitchers. Insanely good. And then Rob Escobar, back to back MVPs. The guy's on 99 already. 22 years old, 99 overall. Holy crap. Let's get it going versus Texas again. Hayden versus Kyle this time around. Won that one, four to two. Tariq versus Cole win. Lost that by one. How the heck are we losing this, Tariq? Grayson versus Carmine. There we go. Casey Mize, your first attempt. Come on, baby. Lost that by one. Holy crap. Hayden, back at it again. <sighs> Give me the next year. I cannot believe how bad we're getting screwed. Quick update, 2030. Still dominant. Unfortunately, can't win any more World Series, but still. We are doing very good, but we have one problem, and it's Ian Happ is finally regressing. So unfortunately, my boy, it is time to get rid of you. I'm looking for a guy that could be electric off the bench. Hopefully I can find that. There it is, Austin Martin. That's the guy we're going with. Besides that, we are still very, very good. I still am very annoyed that we keep getting kicked out of these playoffs, but let's hope that this year can finally be different. We've really put a lot of work into this year. All the hard work that we put earlier should be now finally coming to fruition. So I really hope that's going to happen. Orioles again, 116 and 46. I really don't know how much better we have to do, but apparently we have to do better than this. Grayson Rodriguez finally getting that Cy Young. Also, how bad are the pitchers now? Oh my gosh. A 3.34 is a Cy Young Award winner. The third best guy is a 4.05 with Jack Leiter. God, how bad are pitchers now? Okay, either way, White Sox, Tariq versus Seth Johnson, one of our guys, and we won. Beautiful. Grayson Rodriguez versus Reed Detmers, lost again. Hayden versus Matthew Thompson, won that, and then Casey Mize versus Davis Martin, beautiful job. On to the Mariners now, Tariq versus Logan Gilbert, won that as well. Grayson, come on, dude. Finally, Jesus. Hayden. Okay, lost that one now. Casey. All right, Tariq. There we go. And then Grayson, please, God. Oh, my goodness. Hayden, come on, baby. Finally, back to the World Series. Facing the Marlins. How weird is that? All right, Tariq versus Brady Singer. Lost that by four. Oh, no. Casey Mize versus Sandy, who's still dominant. Won that though. Grace Rodriguez versus Gavin Williams. Won that by three. Hayden versus Max Mayer. Won that as well. Then Tommy versus Ty Madden. Let's go. Coach, you've put me through an absolute grinder with this one, but we finally did it. Another World Series down with only one more to go. Awards Gunnar Henderson for the World Series MVP and Gunnar Henderson for the playoff MVP. Let's make sure that we go back to back. Come on. And to help make sure that we're going to do good, I'm signing Tash Bradley because my boy is an absolute stud. We got the money to do it, so we might as well. Jackson Holiday as well needs to... Never mind. Tash going to the... Tigers, all right. We do need to at least get one guy. I just don't exactly know who that guy's gonna be because everybody seems to not be that great. Oh my gosh, what happened, everybody? All right, maybe Dustin May just for the year. One year Dustin May to run it up to the World Series. Let's go with it. The reason why I say we have one year to win this World Series is because a lot of the guys that we signed and were doing very, very good for a long time are now finally starting to go downhill just a little bit. Brian Reynolds, for instance, a 90 overall now. He was a 96 when we were doing good. Adley Rutschman was close to a 99, now a 93. So it's time for us to win this final one right here and right now here we go finishing off the year 118 and 44 guys it keeps getting better the reason why i want to win this so bad right here if we win this world series i think it's official that we will become the greatest dynasty in modern baseball history for the awards grace rodriguez back with a cy young rob escobar back with a hank aaron and an mvp 61 home runs for rob by the way 312 and 143 rbis i need to see this war come on i gotta see it 8.3 the guy dh's by the way. That's how disgusting that is. Let's get it going versus the White Sox. Grayson Rodriguez versus Alexis. Lost that by one. Oh, man. Dustin May versus Reed Detmers. Okay. And then Casey Mize versus Matthew Thompson. That was fast. I still got to believe, though, we have been the most dominant team in the modern era of baseball. There's no way that we haven't. We have gone through so many years of beating the record, tying the record, and coming close to the MLB record in a row. We are going to go for one more season and then go ahead and get out of here. Dang, this team is taking a step back, but still finishing off 94 and 68. Still better than every other team in the AL East, so I will take it. Awards. Adley Rutschman and Zach Green for gold gloves, and that is it. Wow. Here we go. One last time versus Detroit. Let's get it going. Grayson versus Daniel Spino. One of that. Dustin May now versus Jack Leiter. 
Lost that. All right, 1-1. One, one. Casey Mize versus old team. Won that 2 well. And then Tariq versus old team. Lost that by one. Wow, Grayson, come on. I need you more than ever. And... He chokes it. Wow. Overall, I think it's safe to say the Orioles turned out to be one of the greatest teams of all time, which of course is our goal from the start. If you guys have not already, subscribe down below. Seriously means a lot. And leave a like on this video if you guys want to see more. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day. See you guys soon. Peace out.